Hey there guys, TC Made with TC Gaming. Wanted to bring you another video for the uh, Ascent Combat Framework for retargeting or runtime retargeting. This time with the Synthi Polygon assets. And uh, in the past, we've had to do a lot of workarounds to get things to um, animate properly using the Synthi resources because the bone rotations are incorrect. And unless you're doing a, a, a retarget of a animation asset onto that, that works out pretty good. But if you're trying to use an existing asset, like advanced locomotion um, or ascent combat framework, sometimes that can be a lot of work. Um, what ascent combat framework has done in the newest iterations, uh, they've made the runtime retargeting pretty easy. And I'm going to show you how to set that up for your Synthi Polygon character in probably the easiest way that I have found so far. So I'm going to go into my, I have my project uh, ultimate sample here. This is just a default sample downloaded from the uh, GitHub or GitLab rather. And I'm going to go to the Epic content and get my Polygon Adventure Pack. And uh, the reason I'm using this one is because I know for a fact that this is an older asset that doesn't normally work with animating um, you know, directly from a, another asset. So I'm going to use that one instead. This is my 5.4 project. And you can see this is only compatible up to 5.3. So we know it's older than what we're working with. We're going to say add that to project and let that come in. And then under our content, we'll now have a Polygon Adventure Pack here. Let me explain real quick what's going on in the Ascent Combat Framework runtime retargeting so that we can understand what we're changing to make this work for the Synthi Polygon character. If you go to the default pawn class for ACF Ultimate, it has the ACF Ultimate player, which is a UE4 character. And if you look at the uh, mesh down here, there's a skeletal mesh, and then there's another mesh. This mesh here is SKM Manny which is basically a, an Unreal Engine 5 mannequin. This is the one that has the five spine bones in it and runs with uh, the Lyra animation packs and all that. It's a newer skeleton version. The skeletal mesh that's underneath of this is a UE4 mannequin. And that UE4 mannequin is getting animation updates through a blueprint, which is the ACF UE4 retargeted ABP. And you've seen me do these in the past videos, this retarget type video, all it does is it gets a retarget pose from a source, which is an IK retargeter asset. Okay. Now, because they've set up compatible skeleton features in here, you can say that this UE4 mannequin is compatible with this UE5 mannequin, and you can run the UE5 to UE4 retargeter to translate the animation data to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens if you bring in a Synthi Polygon character. Now, the first thing we'll do with the Synthi Polygon character um, is I'll go into the Polygon character. I'll go down here to New Characters, and I'll get this, uh, let's get this character Warrior. And what we want to do is take our ACF Ultimate Player, Skeletal Mesh here. First thing I'm going to do is hit that. Go over and get this SK mannequin and go to his skeleton. I'm going to go in here and say hide bones and make sure that I have show all sockets turned on so I can see all these sockets. These are ACF sockets that are required for holding your weapons and you know positioning the bow and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to make sure they're all selected. Right click on this and say copy selected bones or copy selected sockets rather. And then I'm going to go to this. Um, we can close this for now. I'm going to go back out here to my map. I'm going to find that Synthi Polygon character under new characters. I'm going to right click on this and say skeleton, find skeleton. I'll open up this skeleton. And while I'm in here, I can just right click on this uh, root and just say paste sockets. We do not want to say paste sockets to selected bone. If we do that, all of the sockets will end up under the root bone and they will not work correctly. You just want to say paste sockets and automatically put those where they belong. It knows that these belong under spine two, for example, and that these belong under spine three. So just by pasting the sockets, it'll work the way you want it to. Now, while you're in here, you want to go up to window and go to asset details. And you want to say that this UE4 mannequin skeleton is compatible with, and you want to go look for UE4. And you're going to have a list of UE4 mannequins. If you go to the one at the bottom here, it should be at the bottom. It'll say that's the one for Ascent Combat Framework mannequin. 
We want to make this compatible with that. And what it should do is allow any of the animations that are set up for any pass-throughs or any animations tied to that UE4 mannequin that's already in there, make them available to our character as well. So, uh, in fact, you can probably see right away that you have all the animations here when that is turned on to be incompatible. Okay. Uh, now what we want to do is we want to go back out here to our ACF Ultimate Player UE4. We're going to go to that skeletal mesh, and we're going to leave this UE4 retargeted ABP here for just a minute because I want to show you what this looks like. So we go out and we look for our warrior character, which should be... Uh, I think it's this guy here, Human Warrior. Yeah, compile we'll that, and we'll come out, and we'll hit play. And you see that we have our character here. Now, we also see that his bones and his arms are all jacked up. Now, that's why I want to show you this. And also, uh, for some reason, his sockets didn't translate over, but we can fix that. Let me take a look here. ACF Ultimate, make sure it's the right guy. Should be. Oh, you know what? That's not the right guy. I picked, this is the one from the uh, characters. We wanted the ones that were from new character. Remember, there's two versions of these now, so we've got to be careful. We want this one. That's the new character. And he's still going to have jacked up arms, but it won't be nearly as bad. Okay. So this is our proper character from the new character folder where I made the skeleton compatible with the UE4 mannequin from ACF. All right, so we see that that is uh, jacked up, but we also see that we can equip the sword, we can do our animations and everything and all that works. But what we want to do is we want to fix this uh, in positioning. So in the UCF, uh, ACF UE4 anim class over here, if we go find that, if you look upstream of this, the retarget pose from mesh is using the IK retargeter asset for the UE5 bandy to UE4. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two things. We're going to take this UE4 retargeted ABP, which is the one that's right here. If we go to find that, it'll take us to the same place. We're going to take that, and we're going to take this, and we're going to move them, copy them, into a folder. I'm going to put them in Polygon Adventure. I'm going to right-click in here and say New Folder, and I'm just going to call this RT underscore assets, just so we know what they are. They're retargeting assets. And we'll take the ones from our engine. Down here under engine animation is where those were at. If you can't find them again, you can go back and drill to them from that uh, drop down. We're going to take first one here. Where did our folder go? Oh, right here, RT assets. Okay. So we're going to take the UE4 retargeted ABP. We'll put that under RT assets, and we're going to say copy that there. And then we're going to take the RTG UE5 Manny, and we're going to do the same thing, take that to RT assets and say copy that to there. We're going to go into these two assets. So I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this ACF, and I will call it Cinti, if I can spell. Cinti underscore ABP. Okay, and then in that ABP, it's still pointing to this, so we're going to call this RTG we'll call this RTG underscore Cinti. And now we'll go into this ABP and we're going to make sure that we do the same thing that we did here on the output pose side of that. Should be an output pose somewhere under the anim graph. Where this retarget pose from mesh is. We're now going to point this to the one that says Cinti. RTG Cinti will now be the one. Pile that and hit save. And then what we want to do is in the one for Cinti, we're going to go in here. And we're going to change the target preview mesh to be our Cinti character. And I don't know if he's down here or up there. Let's see. Up here. There's our warrior. Okay. And now that we have him in here, we can go and say 
We want to click this button to go editing retarget pose. And this is why he's all jacked up is because his arms are, they come in the T pose and the uh, Unreal Engine mannequin is in what's called a uh, open A pose. So in the old days, we had to go and get these bones and align them and twist things or whatever. But now they have a feature in here called auto align. And if we say auto align, align all bones, it'll snap this guy into the same basic pose as this character. And we can say that that's good. Go back to run reta uh, running retargeting, and that'll show you what it looks like. We can hit this here. And if everything worked out well, what we should be able to do now is to go into our skeletal mesh where we have our character here and switch our Anim class to be the ACF Synthi ABP. Pile that. And come back out. And what we should have now is our character with proper hand alignments, not all twisted up and, you know, jacked up like we had earlier. He can still equip the swords and everything. And all the stuff that we want to do with the bow should look right. And basically that's the easiest way I've found so far to make these characters work 100% with ACF or Sync Combat Framework. The runtime retargeting is really the answer to a lot of the, the problems that we've had with things in the past. So I, I think this is going to be a good solution for you. It doesn't require you to import any other assets, just to modify a couple things that are already in there to point them in the right direction. And if you guys have any uh, problems with this, just let me know. But any Synthi Polygon asset that you bring in, what you should be able to do is to say, make their skeleton compatible and then point them to the same runtime retargeter that should all work because the uh, the way that that's set up, you know, it should, um, should handle the translation of the, the uh, open arm thing. If it doesn't, then what you would do is you would duplicate your Synthi retargeter and then just put your new mesh in there from whatever pack it is. So you might have multiples depending on which packs they're assigned to or whatever. But anyway, that's a real quick retargeting with ACF using the runtime retargeter, and uh, I think that'll help you guys out. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you in a future video.